Hey, what's up, what's up, Capricorn? It's your girl, Tasha Unstoppable. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to comment, share my channel. This message will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. Uh, if the reading doesn't resonate, just watch our other signs, okay? It's completely free to do so, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and get into it, guys. For some of you Capricorns, you may be um, um, getting some kind of advice from someone, possibly a parent or an older uh, person or someone that's like-minded individual like you. You could be thinking about going into business or doing something different but bettering yourself. Some of you have got some unexpected money that's coming towards you as well. Okay, you may be getting a new car. Also, some of you will be moving out of a home as well. Okay, uh, there's some kind of uh, mail coming towards you as well. So make sure you're looking out and paying attention to your mail. Someone definitely from your past, I believe, is thinking about you. Okay, uh, after a long period of avoiding each other, I feel like this is someone that's really thinking about you, but I feel like they're watching you from a distance and they see that you know you're glowing up or you're uh you're really taking care of yourself here some of you are being more creative when it comes to your goals and your achievements but you're definitely going to be very empowered and very ambitious at the end of the day so don't let anybody knock your hustle you got people around you that doesn't want to see you grow we've been saying this the past couple of readings okay so you definitely got enemies around you and i feel like you know this at the end of the day but you don't give up Cause you're going to do yourself. You're going to do, you know, you're going to do the necessary things you have to do to move ahead because they don't pay your bills. Okay. So let them watch. All right. But don't be telling everybody your business Capricorn. I've been saying this since I started. Okay. Stop. Just, just don't. Okay. Keep your business to yourself. All right. But you're definitely going to be achieving your goals and you're definitely going to be prosperous. All right. Some of you could be born in the year of the goat or the sheep here. Of course, the goat is basically the Capricorn. Right. All right. OK. All right. So we have a page of wands. So there's some good news is definitely coming in here. OK, some of you, uh, there's a letter or a phone call that you're definitely going to be getting. This could be really, really um, a good, great thing that's going to come towards you here. OK, uh, also, we have the Knight of Swords here. So be careful. OK, don't let this be a missed opportunity, because if you're not paying attention, this could definitely pass you by here. So some of you could have a missed opportunity, but I feel like there's someone that wants to come towards you that you left back in the past here and they want to move towards you because they see you as a missed opportunity. OK, all right. King of Cups. OK, there's someone that's definitely passionate about you. OK, whoa. All right. So we have. OK, so the two of cups here, there's a twin flame connection that's coming in. Some of you, this is a love connection. The Empress, this is someone that really wants to grow with you. They see you as someone that's nurturing, caring, very stable here. King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is someone that's very, um, I feel like they're abundant. They make really good money, uh, very successful. Some of you are coming into business as well here. OK, uh, but there is someone that definitely wants to take a risk to be with you. All right. And with the, uh, the 10 of pentacles, yeah, you're definitely going to be growing your finances here. Some kind of unexpected money going to be coming in. Okay. I feel like this is a solid foundation with the twin flame. Okay. Or soulmate taking how it resonates. Okay. But the number three can be significant as well. So you're definitely going to be manifesting your abundance and you're going to be really, really creative when it comes to your business here. Some of you are going to be uh, purchasing a home or buying a home as well. Uh, but you may be coming into business with someone, a like-minded individual, someone that's like you, someone that's a go-getter like you here. Okay. Some of you could be thinking about getting pregnant or wanting to have a baby, but birthing a new idea when it comes to business. Okay. You're really taking your, taking care of yourself, looking good, smelling good here. Okay. Some of you could be, um, moving up in, in social status as well but i feel like there's someone that really admires you this person really does adore you here okay they see you as someone that's uh stable creative and very yet desirable okay um but yeah we also have the emperor that came out as well so you're definitely going to be stable here but there's someone that wants to come in and control this connection here okay what is this emperor card about you could be dealing with the aries as well Okay.
okay? Huh, so there's an emperor or empress here because we do have an emperor and an empress, okay? So this is a soulmate connection here. I feel like this is someone that is very dissatisfied with their lives here. They see that you move forward, you walked away from this person here, but I feel like this is something, maybe there's a situation in the past that you dealt with with this person and you're just disgusted. Maybe you don't want to deal with them because you feel like this is going to cause another ending here, but there's a tower card is here so you're definitely going to be dismantling and rebuilding yourself rebuilding your life okay regain your composure at the end of the day so whatever this is i feel like this person is only here you got somebody that's only wanting to come in for what you have okay but i feel like at the end of the day be careful because this person could have other options as well they may be dissatisfied with the people that's around them maybe they have uh you know people they're dealing with you don't know but they see you as someone that they can grow with and build with here. But be careful. Make sure, you know, you're taking your time. Don't rush in. Don't make it something that's going to be quick here because I feel like this could cause a tower. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. But with the wish, okay, you're definitely going to be taking care of yourself. The stars here as well. So some of you are really empowered. You're going to be growing in life here. Definitely nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself here. Okay, so your wishes are definitely going to be fulfilled at the end of the day. You could be dealing with an Aquarius as well, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. I feel like you're really going to be inspired to chase your dreams, your goals, and your desires here. Whatever it is that's making you feel this way here with the uh, four core four cups and that's going to cause a tower you're going to be able to pull yourself out of this with the uh, wish card and the star card here okay so whatever it is is okay you may be losing a, 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 a home a car a job okay but make sure you know you're you're uh doing it the right way okay but we have a work card so success achievement is definitely going to be coming towards you here some of you are going to be moving away from things that no longer serve you you're going to be leaving people out in the cold as well Okay, the lovers, what is this about? Okay, so we got the Ten of Cups with the lovers. Some of you are really going to be getting married, but there's somebody that wants to come towards you here, that, but they're not making a decision to come towards you. They're, uh, there's something in the way of this connection. I feel like with the Three of Wands, they're definitely thinking about making a move on you, okay, for the better. But I feel like some of you could have walked away from someone that you don't, you know, see desirable anymore. This is somebody maybe you used to be in love with, you really cared about, you cherished this person. But at the end of the day, you're going to be walking away because this person has other options with the three of ones that they're dealing with. There's something in the way of this connection. But I feel like what it is, this person really doesn't want to make a decision because they don't know what they want, but they see you as someone that's very desirable, someone that makes really good money. You're really taking care of yourself. You're healing yourself here. Okay. <clears throat> so we have the ace of swords some of you are going to be thinking about a new plan a new idea something to move towards here and i feel like this is really really going to make you abundant somebody wants to come in and outpour their love towards you you could be dealing with a virgo here they could be researching you looking you up but this person has another connection with the queen of wands that they're dealing with okay uh <clears throat> Yeah. And with the King of Swords, I feel like you saw the truth. You're going to recognize the truth if you haven't already here. OK. But I feel like when it comes to this past person, you're really not thinking about them. You're not thinking about moving towards them here. I feel like you just want to leave this connection down the cold. OK. And this person knows that. So now they're doing the introspection, reflection and trying to figure out how to move towards you. But for some of them, they just really want to. It's like they want to have their cake and eat it too. It's like if they knew that you didn't know about somebody else, they would continue to keep doing that because all they want at the end of the day is your money. For some of you, they just want to settle down with somebody that's got something going for themselves that they want to feed off of and take from, okay? So be careful with rushing into the a relationship with this person. I feel like this is someone that's dissatisfied with what's going on around themselves, okay? And they want to come in and manifest this connection with you, all right? Okay, nine ones. Yeah, this person is thinking about coming in quickly, okay? So be very, very, uh, you know, 
Use your intuition when it comes to this uh, connection here. This person is really passionate about you. They want to come in with a fiery energy. But I feel like at the end of the day, it's only going to cause a tower. If you rush this, if you take things slowly, then yes, maybe. But yeah, this person wants to come in and repeat this with you. Okay. You might have had some kind of disagreement with this person for some of you. And they want to come in and offer their cup of love. Okay. With the Ace of Wands cup of love. But still. OK, they want to come in and rebuild with you. They want to start a new connection with you and they're going to be outpouring their love towards you. OK, but there's some good news coming in towards you as well. All right. So make sure you're paying attention. You could be working on your body as well. Some of you may be going to the physician. Uh, you may be getting some kind of opinion when it comes to your health here. OK, yeah. So at the end of the day, with the. Uh, the four of wands, you're definitely going to be happy. Okay. I feel like you're going to move on for the better. You're going to start a better connection with somebody new that's going to come in here. And where is this going to lead? What is this about? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So what's going to happen is somebody's going to come clean. <clears throat> Yeah, with the seven of swords in reverse, this person is going to come clean to you. This past person that's trying to come back, they're going to tell you what's going on here. I feel like you and this person, are, you're going to be able to talk. So after this long period of avoiding this, each other, you're going to be able to talk about this and you're going to be releasing the pain and hurt that this person caused. And some of you are definitely going to be, you know, whether or not you want to deal with this person, you know, that's up to you. Some of you will decide to stay with them or you may decide to go to the new person. Just take it how it resonates. OK, but you're definitely going to be moving forward. I feel like you're going to be able to heal this connection here. But what I honestly feel like is this is a toxic connection. OK, uh, just take your time. OK, <clears throat> you could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. OK. This person really does love you with the Knight of Cups. They really love you. They care about you deeply, okay? And uh, with, you could be dealing with the Leo as well. But like I say, with the Two of Pentacles, they're definitely juggling you, all right? But, you know, at the end of the day, you're really just trying to find a balance when it comes to this connection because this is something you probably already healed yourself from, all right? But they definitely want to come in and outpour their love towards you. Let's see what they have to say to you. Please be patient with me, okay? And please forgive me. What else for Capricorn? I'm afraid of commitment. Exactly. So you got somebody here who's afraid to commit, but yet they want to come in and settle down with you and swoop you. And, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's money that's, you know, uh, making them want to come towards you. Because you're independent, you're a go-getter here. You know, it, it's kind of scary uh, marrying somebody like this because I feel like at the end of the day, they're just in for what they want. They don't care about love or anything else. Okay, they may love you, but I don't feel like it's real love. It's lust more than anything. Okay, you are stronger than you think. And more than you know, be curious and determined. So some of you really need to research this person as well. Make sure you're, you know, um, paying attention to the things that this person is doing, saying, okay, if you, hey, <laughs> you got to watch this shit, uh, you know, do what you got to do, okay? You got to do what you got to do. Do your background check, okay? Make sure you getting a... Uh, yeah, the inside scoop on this person, okay? Letting go. Some of you are going to be letting go of this connection here, okay? But letting go of negative thoughts and emotions will create space for your natural state of being. We choose to hold on to and perpetuate any emotion by repeating the thought pattern. That is time to let go, okay? Some of you are thinking obsessively something negative that you're thinking it could be about this person. It could be a new idea that you're thinking about. This is to let you know that you need to let it go. Don't let this weigh you down. Don't let this stop you, okay? Don't get so in, in your head here. But some of you are going to be getting some kind of advice from someone as well, okay? Stubborn, all right? You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but as stubborn nature inhibits a 
our ability to listen to and see others' points of view, okay? We miss out on opportunities. We just said this, okay? And healthy change. Now is the time to take a step back and let go of hardline opinions or ideas and listen to what others have to say with an open mind, y'all. I'm sorry my puppies are having a, uh, huh. They, they, what, they, what they're doing is they're fighting over who's going to sleep closer to their mother, okay? So they want to get close by the mom. I got two of them now. I had like six of them, but one is I'll get close to the mama. And then the other one will see that the other puppy is closer to the mama. So he, the other puppy gets over here, okay? And then this one is climbing back up to get over here. And then they, before you know it, they start. That's what they're doing now. They just, some of you could be trying. Either somebody's competing for your love, okay, or you compete for somebody's love, I don't know, or maybe you're, uh, you know, trying to get closer to your parents, or, you know, you may be talking to your parents or talking to a loved one here, okay, maybe you're trying to be, uh, maybe you're closer to a loved one than the other, who knows, <laughs> okay, last card, protection, all right, Yes, yeah, so that definitely resonates with what I just said. You know, the mother is very protective of her children as well. So uh, you may be having a baby. You may be thinking about having a baby. But at the end of the day, you're definitely protected. Also, the number four came out, which is your ancestors is definitely watching over you, guiding you, protecting you as well, okay? But self-expression is self-fulfillment is what my number four mean, okay? But someone is watching you and there is a message coming in, so pay attention, okay? The hummingbird is highly protective of its territory, okay? Now it's time for protection. We all long to feel safe in our homes, relationships, and work. Some of you are dealing with a toxic relationship we just talked about. Some of you are dealing with a toxic job, toxic people, behaviors that you're ready to get away from. And I feel like there is a new opportunity in work that's going to come towards you. But make sure you're paying attention and don't let it pass you by, okay? Work on helping yourself and others. To feel more secure and comfortable, okay? Some of you may not be feeling comfortable where you live or where you stay. You may be tired of the community that you live in, okay? And you're definitely going to be finding something new, something better, okay? I feel like you're definitely going to get a better home here. adjustments are required exactly so you definitely going to be taking that time out to adjust your life anything that uh you know doesn't serve your highest good here i think you're definitely going to be leaving it out in the cold or if not you're going to be able to forgive and move on listen to what you know the situation is and uh you know because you're someone you're very understanding okay uh and at the end of the day, you don't want to, you know, leave anyone out in the cold on bad terms, okay? But have faith in your dreams, okay? Some of you are really thinking about something new, something creative to embark on, okay? You're definitely going to be coming into business with something. I feel like this is something that's going to be really, really uh, creative. It's going to, uh, you know, uh, make you very fulfilled in life, okay, and very abundant. Okay, some of you could be going into business partnership with someone as well. Okay, <clears throat> what's the last card? A fairy climax approaches, so you're definitely close to achieving your goals. Keep going, keep being inspired. Okay, let's read this full moon in Aries. You could be dealing with the Aries. Okay, being assertive is good. Just don't ride rough shot over anyone. If you're in a tense situation, meditate your way to peace. Don't be a baby. <laughs> Sorry, but this could be the issue. You need to have more fun. Some of you really need to get out of the house, okay? 
uh, meet new people, get out. Uh, you know, maybe you're just really trying to protect your, um, your energy at this time. Okay. Maybe you just, like I say, you're in an environment that you don't really care for. So you're taking the time out to heal yourself and nurture and care for yourself. You don't want to be around anybody, uh, toxic, negative. It's like, this is not the time for that. Uh, I feel like, you know, you're just really trying to be more positive. Some of you are going to be getting some kind of unexpected income as well. And you're definitely going to be traveling. Okay. There is a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you'll have to wait, the puppies. You'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too fast or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level. You've created this situation yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming and it could be fairy, okay? Some of you, this is regarding a relationship or a job, okay? I'm not going to make this video too long. I'm trying to stop it before it gets too far. Something about summer is significant. Some of you could be getting a, uh, a new home in the summertime as well. Or you may be, uh, you know, just traveling somewhere to the south. But someone is definitely watching you. This person could live south of you. But something about summer. This person could have been born in the summer. All right. Grounding. Okay. Grounding yourself. Okay, you could be dealing with the earth sign and alchemist. Some of you really need to watch what you eat. Okay, I feel like you're really taking care of, taking care of yourself, healing yourself. But, you know, pay, pay attention to what you're eating. You could be, uh, you know, going on a new diet as well. Okay. Or you may be thinking about a new dish to cook. Okay, connection with the element of earth. You are an earth sign. So uh, this is uh, the element of earth is required to bring substance. Okay, spend time outside. So some of you really need to get outside. Okay, uh, walk barefooted. Okay, and getting your hands dirty. If you don't want to do barefoot, get your hands dirty, but take up gardening, uh, hug or sit beneath a favorite tree. Engage in a project that requires solid groundwork, okay? Some of you are really good with your hands and you may work around the home or you uh, may be thinking about doing something around the home, something new, something different, okay? Or you could be getting a job working uh, outside, maybe landscaping or just working with your hands a lot in general, okay? Are the foundations you stand upon strong enough to support you? You have been on a rather shaky ground lately and your confidence has been knocked. Someone around you is definitely trying to knock your confidence down, okay? Don't let anyone disturb you. Like I say, get around like-minded people, uh, people that's going to uplift you, not bring you down because this could really make you depressed and maybe feel like you don't have what it takes to move forward, but you can but you're doubting yourself because you're very smart. You're smarter than what you think you are, okay? Your head has been in the clouds, all right? And your wishes do not seem to be coming to fruition to you. It is the element of earth that must be called upon right now, for it offers you the nurturing and support you need at this time. The earth is solid, firm, and will give you the ground required to bring about the results you desire, okay? Okay? Uh, the earth is fertile and stable and associated with the goddess of birth, life, death, and rebirth. Okay, so give yourself some time to go into nature and allow the earth to restore you. Okay, uh, but, you know, some of you may also work with spell work. Okay, if that's you, you may have to use the earth. Uh, material matter from the earth may help. Okay, when it comes to that, if that's what you're into. Okay. 
All right. So far, so good. Uh, Capricorn, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. Okay. Peace.